Alright, this is my new setup. Um, you can see I have put the electrode together right here to create the up and down electrode holders instead of the side to side. Um, you'll see why once I put the gold in. Well, I got it attached up in here with this contraption. Inside of this I has a uh, microwave oven transformer, 1100 watts. Um, I've also got a fan installed, which is actually running right now. Um, this side has got the filter with the airflow coming through. Over here is my hookups. Coming around here to the Variac, which uh, Variacs are an adjustable power supply, and go into the wall. We are getting ready to start a new batch with this new electrode holder, so I'm going to weigh the gold. If I can pick it up off the table. And sitting at 0 0.24, 0 0.25 grams. It rested on 0.25. All right. There's my star button. Let me close it with my hand. Hold that shit. You see it running there. I'm trying to keep the voltage as low as possible. My electrodes really ought to be a little bit closer together so that I can turn the voltage down even more. Because right now, as you can see, it's running. At about 65 volts, which is really too much. So I'm going to make an adjustment here and see how it goes. Okay, got a different setup this time. I rearranged my power wires and everything. And now I've got a nice little bitty spark going between my gold leads there and only running at about 20 volts. This is perfect from what I've been told. Uh, you see the pretty lady over there? That's my wife. This will be on YouTube, you know. Lovely. So, <laughs> so, my water got a little bit purple from trying to cook it a while ago. Uh, I'm going to continue using the same water because even though it's purple, was started off purple, there was still a little bit of gold there. So. I'll get back in a little while and uh, see what's going on. All right, as you can see, we definitely got that pink color starting. Good amber color started there, amber red, whatever you call it. This is after I redid my electrode setup. Kind of hard to see inside the jar, but there it is. And what I've got here is 750 milliliters of pure distilled water, 10 milliliters of H2O2, and I've got a bubbler, an air hose going in there instead of using my magnetic stir because a good friend told me that the magnetics could mess it up. Now, 
the setup I've got right here I'm going to be changing at least the electrode setup part because I've learned that the glass I'm using is too hard to shape the thick glass the the big tubes I'm using I can't even bend and that's using map gas not propane so I'm going to go with the acrylics which is uh, what my close friend Carl has suggested um, and uh, I'm waiting for that to come in but in the meantime this is what I've got to work with um, as you can see they're still only running at around 25 volts or so and I'll be back shortly oh I did change out my water a while ago and start it over that's why it's no longer purple and it's actually doing pink this time alright back soon alright quick update see the color starting there beautiful beautiful color this batch I think I'm going to be extremely pleased with been running for oh, close to an hour and you can see it's just a small spark actually nice little red color to that spark not a big blue and our voltage is actually down to what, around 25, 28 volts, somewhere in that. There's the meter. So, looking good. Okay, I'm getting near the end here. You can see very dark color. It's gotten to where you really can't see the electrodes inside, although you can still see the fire. So the color is a real dark red color. I don't see any purple in this one at all. I'm very happy with that because all the batches I had before had purple in them. Alright. Alright. Here we go. Finally done. I'm going to weigh these electrodes. No, there it is. 0.21. It's not picking up on the camera. There we go. 0.21. My fan's on here, so it's running up a little bit. Cover it over. Yeah. I'm going to say 0.21. This sucker's been running for about three hours. Let me hold it up to a light. There's my color. Check that out. Now, from what I understand, that's the color I'm looking for right there. A beautiful red color. When you hind it up to the light, of course, when you set it down on the table, it almost looks black in the camera but it's not so there's some colloidal gold for you um, here's my contraption and I'm gonna be adapting all this here pretty soon especially the electrode setup that I've got here this didn't fell apart on me and I had to work it back together through the middle of the process but uh, that's me uh, tune back in next time I'll try to do a better job on the videos